and they just they couldn't find a hole. But tonight you found them. Uh, just talk about your night, what you were able to do, especially those doubles. Yeah, I made a quick adjustment. Uh, last night I had a bad night, obviously. Um, to be honest with you, I was focusing at the plate on uh, having a softer front foot land instead of trying to be so aggressive with it. So I focused on that, and I feel like I saw the ball a lot better than last night. What were you more proud of, your last at-bat, forced it in that run, or your two doubles? <laughs> um, I guess the, the runs, obviously, because we, we got two extra runs, and it takes a lot of pressure off of us, and that was awesome. I mean, just the way that whole play worked out for us, I mean, I can't ask for anything more than that. Is that what this offense is designed for? I mean, it's great to get all the doubles and everything, yeah. but forcing mistakes like that, is that what yeah, you're trying to I mean, do? That's what, that, every single at-bat, that's all I'm trying to do is just try to hit it hard and make someone make a mistake or... Put it where they're not. That's it. I've gotten two great pitching outings this weekend. What's it like to watch guys like Hudson and Sexton? They're awesome. I mean, every single week, seriously, like it's like no one hits them. Or if they get hit around, then they they're a bulldog and they find a way to get out of it. It's it's incredible. How much fun are you guys? How much fun are you guys having in the dugout right it's now? It's so fun. I can't even tell you, man. It's awesome. Uh, even in the locker room, and when we go home, it's like we're always hanging out and having a great time. I mean, winning just makes chemistry. Losing kills chemistry. So the more we win, the better it is. What about Reed coming in there and just getting the hook there? And then like oh, he's awesome. Innings. He's freaking awesome. I mean, every single time he comes in, we know that he's going to throw gas and have an absolute hammer as well. He's got a really good cutter that he mixes in as well. And I know as a righty hitter, especially a ball that can tail away and go that fast, it's so hard to hit. So it's awesome having him come in. Seems like you and John Holland are really developing some chemistry there in the middle infield. It really showed tonight. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, me and John, I mean, you know, he's from Atlanta. Uh, me and him are really close. Uh, it just it works really well with us in the infield. I, I always know where he is. Um, our communication is, is pretty easy between us, and uh, he keeps it light out there. He's a really funny guy. What's it like to go from last year at this time, and now you're playing for an SEC championship? It's awesome. Um, are we are we the exact opposite record right now as last year? If we win tomorrow, would that be no, one less? Be one one less. less? Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Close I mean, it's incredible. Um, I remember last year at this time, you know, we're sitting in the hotel, and, we, and one of the seniors texted us and said, hey, man, I know you guys are out of it. Um, just try to have fun tomorrow, and that was like a it was a killer. But now, I mean, you know, they're in the same position we were last year, and it's a terrible feeling. But we have a chance to do something really awesome that hasn't happened here in a long time. Have you have you thought about just how incredible that turnaround is? I I, I feel like I knew it was going to happen. I hate to say that, but like the way our team is, like we had so many good guys last year, and if you look at last year, I feel like every game we lost, we were there at the very end, and then something would happen. So I just I feel I feel like I was confident that we would have a really good year this year. Batters have to adjust obviously to different styles of pitchers, the Sexton and Humphreys. But what's it like for a middle infielder? Because the ball coming off Sexton is going to be a bouncer. Right. Coming off Humphreys is going to be a rocket. Yeah, I mean it's completely different. Um, especially you got to know the tendencies of the hitters, and we go through that before the game starts. But I kind of, I kind of try to read what's going to happen before the play happens and try to position myself where I think they're going to be. If I think if we got to pull righty up, I might play at second base, you know, and have Gavin play short. I'll, I'll just try to mix it around, but. The coaches do a good job of letting us know where it'll be as well. Being up the middle, how good was uh, Sexton's off speed tonight? They get 15 swings and misses. It was unreal. I mean, he was tunneling his pitches really well, which um, which means you know it looks like a fastball, and then all of a sudden it's just dropping out of the zone. And every single pitch I see from shortstop, it's doing that. And then he'll run a fastball in there, and it's just really hard for somebody to try to get good timing on that.